I'm uh, Tyler Grauer, captain of Union Hook and Ladder Company number one from uh, Patchogue, New York. We're here today doing our final inspection of the uh, Pierce Tower Ladder 100, uh, their new product that they released last year. Um, we decided to go with Pierce. Uh, we looked at every manufacturer. We have a 2002 uh, rear mount right now, and uh, we've had uh, great success with it. So after looking at all the options, uh, we decided to go with them again, and uh, this truck is uh, one of a kind, really, in its capability. Um, just moving back a little bit, we went with the Velocity Cab. Um, we're coming from an Arrow XT, so we're gaining another couple inches on width. Uh, we went with a six-man cab, um, two fold-down seats in the middle, and two outboard seats, 60-inch cab. Moving back, uh, we went to a 45-inch pump panel to accommodate uh, all of our flow gauges and uh, the new Elkhart Apex um, gauges and flow meters. We went with the Husky 12 foam system. Uh, we also went with task force tips, uh, electronic valves. Uh, you can see up here on the camera, we have dual cameras uh, that relay to all the command zone screens on the truck turntable, bucket, pump panel, driver. Uh, moving back a little further. Uh, this truck's equipped with remote control tower. So we have a remote here where we can control the whole tower instead of putting a guy on the turntable. Uh, one of the big, big reasons we went with uh, this truck was the TAC-3 independent rear suspension. We have uh, super singles and uh, steerable rear axle on both, both axles. We picked up four foot on our turning radius, which in our district is, uh, it is a big thing. We have tight streets, and uh, that was huge for us. Pierce was able to accommodate us with that. Uh, moving back, just some standard storage. And these, some tool boards, and uh, slide, out, slide out tilt downs. It's a little bit of a learning curve for, for everybody with this new product. Um, so we ended up doing some things differently that they haven't done yet. Bottle storage. Uh, also, everything on the truck, it's all 12 volt lighting. There's no generator on this truck. Um, we set it up like that. Everything is going battery powered now. So everything is all 12 volt run on either an inverter or off the alternator. Uh, we tried to maximize as much storage as we could. We have slide outs down low, tool boards, and also we added a toolbox for our power tools. So we have that as well. Um, also up top, we have saw mounted boxes on the ladder so we don't have to carry saws up anymore. Everything is up in the bucket or on the ladder for us. Uh, in the back of the truck, we went with a single task force monitor, 2000 GPM. Uh, you can see the camera set up now with the dual cameras on the bucket. Uh, all the uh, lights on the truck are FireTech. Um, that's their 30,000 lumen we put on the basket there. Also on the underside of the basket, we put uh, Whalen 5V3s that are emergency lights and also scene lights. So it illuminates the steps or the parapets when we're coming out of the bucket. Uh, Another option we went with was nested ladder storage. Um, we have uh, over 180 foot of ground ladders on this truck, 235s, 224s, 20 foot roof ladders, 16 foot roof ladders, 10 foot folding. Um, we have some pull out boxes down low for some salvage covers and whatnot. Working our way around the back, obviously 800 foot of five inch hose chutes right here, back compartment, uh, we have slide out tilts, and also some drawers and whatnot. Uh, working our way around, this is just a standard compartment that we're going to be mounting some saws in and whatnot when we get back. 
um, tool board in here. So you have a tool board. We're still going over some final stuff, so there's going to be some lights and whatnot on here. Um, that'll all be buttoned up today. Another cool little option we did right here was a speedy dry hopper, trying to keep guys from climbing up top or carrying bags. Everything just loads right in here, and there's a uh, spring-loaded chute on the bottom. Um, our EMS compartment, it's going to be our rehab EMS, carrying AED first aid kit, basic first aid stuff. Uh, another thing I forgot to point out is the uh, stabilizer cameras, so the driver will be able to see uh, where the outrigger is going to be placed before he even gets out of the truck. Color-coded rings, we color-coded all the uh, discharges and intakes on the truck to match our supply hose or our discharge hose or our cross-lay hose at home, so everything will be color-coded to match the hose color. This is the task force remote valve. Uh, you have 12 volt lighting up top. Um, and also you have your tank indicator on the side of the truck. Backlit handrails. Uh, also for safety, we just added the uh, two side vision cameras and you also have the rear vision camera. Uh, working around the front, uh, we have the FireTech uh, 80 inch brow light um, as our scene light up here, 84 inch whale and light bar. Um, federal Q siren, and we have the, uh, the backlit uh, bumper cutout. Um, that about wraps up the walk around of our truck. I'd like to thank Ray from Firematic, Firematic Supply, um, and Pierce for having us out here. We couldn't be happier with the product. We're looking forward to getting the next 10 to 15 years of use out of our truck, and uh, we're very pleased with it.